Hey, old Blender fans out there. Uh, today, I wanted to go over a little bit of Blender 2.67. It is here in all its glory. And uh, before I start, I wanted to show you this sick Maya 2013 theme that I got here. It, it is by uh, this guy, Andrew Enyart. Enyart? I think I pronounced that right. I apologize, Andrew, if I'm not pronouncing that right. But, um, go here, grab me that theme, and it's just awesome, it's my new favorite theme, and I will put a link to it in the description. Alright, so we got Blender 2.67 right here, and one of the cool new features of Blender 2.67 is we have Freestyle as a new renderer. So, uh, what I was going to do is just go over that and then go over a few new features too. So oh, let's get started. So uh, right here I got my default cube. And I'm just gonna maximize this. And then I'm gonna set this to a shade this material. And turn on the intensity a little bit. And I'm gonna go over here and enable freestyle. Then I'm gonna go over here and all right does a default line set. Now before I can do freestyle Kinda had to discover this, but you have to tab in edit mode and select all your vertices, the ones you want to draw as lines. And then you gotta go um search for freestyle. And then you gotta go mark freestyle edge. Alright, and once that's done, you can tab on edit mode. So we're ready real quick render and see what we got here. And you can see we got our nice edges here. So uh, that's basically a quick overview of freestyle. Another thing I want to show you is cool new sculpting tools. This is one of my favorite new features. So we have here, and then if we go over to, uh, let me find it. Topology, we can enable dynamic sculpt. And uh, gives you a little warning here, and just enable it. Alright, what this will do is this will add geometry as needed for sculpting. This is a big feature that's been wanted for a while. Right here, you have the setting detail size. Now, the smaller this number, um, I found out the more geometry it's going to add and the more detail you'll get. So, I'm just going to set this to maybe like five. And then, if we do a quick run across, see, look at that. Get some good strokes here. Then we can set smooth. Oh, uh, maybe not smooth. Alright, and also, um, you know, over here, make a brush. I'm going to mesh and brush here and pull up a radius a little bit. Here we got a good bump map brush here. And if we tab an edit mode on this, you can see our uh, our geometry was created as needed. So that's pretty cool, I think. All right, so I'm gonna do all that. Just get out of sculpt mode here. All right, another thing I want to show you is the new uh, no groups. So if I go into composite in here, use nodes. Now say I had like a color correction no group or like no group or whatever so over here and filter maybe clear just pop that in there now one thing you know is if you go to make a group oops what oh yeah go to make a group now it does this little deal now, instead of the old way. So, this gives you a couple of new features. 
go in and manage your inputs. And you can make your uh, particular input. May always be here. I am only at the work. But you can make your uh, group different nodes, different colors now. And then you can go in here. And tab out. You have a group, and you can make your whole group. You can give a group a custom color. And then a name your group. So you can just kind of go nuts with that. But what I'm going to do now is another new feature is you can nest groups. So I'm going to make two groups here, then I'm going to select them both. Now we got groups within groups. So I thought that's pretty cool. And then you can, uh, let's see how I get out. There we go. Now I got a new group, group that has two other no groups in it. So I thought that was kind of cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. So go and grab that sweet Maya theme and uh, drop me a comment in the comment section. And I'll talk to you guys later.